Welcome to the lab. 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 Come on and cook with me. GG's gluten free. Bake with me. GG's gluten free. Grill with me. GG's gluten free. Eat with me. Hey, hey, welcome to the lab, welcome to the lab, welcome to the lab, guys. This is gluten-free for beginners, guys. This is a, one of the easiest ways to do gluten-free, guys. If you get fresh produce or fresh protein, you could be rest assured that there is no gluten-containing ingredients. So these are Yukon Gold Potatoes, guys. We're going to make some scalloped potatoes. That's right. So first, we're going to slot wash them slice them we're gonna parboil them and then we're gonna fry them up all right so when we come back we're gonna get started i allow you i invite you i encourage you to cook with me gg's gluten free welcome to the lab welcome to the lab welcome to the lab Okay, hey guys, so we have our Valdelia onion, and we have our Yukon gold potatoes, and we're about to slice them up. Guys, you see how they're golden on the inside? They're not white, okay? And we're going to do our skin on, skin on. That's how I like them. That's right, and they're going to be all different shapes and sizes. We're going to parboil them. So then when it comes down to frying them up, they'll get soft through and through, and they're evenly, and they're done. I know you see them. I know that you see them. That's that nice gold hue. That is a Yukon gold potato, guys. You cannot go wrong with fresh produce, guys. This is a guarantee, guys that you're gonna do a gluten-free meal. If you use fresh produce, you are guaranteed gluten-free. You see that? That's a nice size. You can get a little thinner. It can get a little thinner. Mm-hmm, see that? They just a little bit thinner. See that? I know you see it. But yeah, so I had a taste for this. We'll be having this along with a salad tonight, guys. That's right. This is a no meat Friday. No meat Friday. And this is gluten free for beginners, guys. Gluten free for beginners. This is this is what I found to be the easiest way to do a gluten free diet with all the hassle of reading labels, being nervous, scared that you're gonna run into cross-contamination, things of that nature. But I invite you to download the gluten-free scanner, guys. Download the gluten-free scanner, and it helps a lot when you're shopping because you just might wanna try some of those items to make a few substitutions for what you used to know and love. You see that? You see how thin that is? Mm-hmm. We have a few more. It's gonna be quite a bit, but depending on your family size, you know how many to cook. I'm just trying to show you some items. So that you don't, what, what it all boils down to is you get away from eating a lot of processed food. That's what my uh, observation of it was from the very beginning. So 18 years ago, I was told to totally avoid gluten and never eat it again. And that's all I needed to do to manage my pain, to make uh, my gut become healthy again. And that's what I decided to do. I had a few hiccups along the way. However, I learned to prepare gluten-free delicious entrees and vegetables and desserts and if you haven't 
already joined the channel, please join the channel and then go through the catalog and look at some of the great recipes that I have listed. Um, I'm sure there's something that will spark your interest. And if you have something that you wanted to have and just don't know quite how to go about doing it, drop me a comment and I will try my best to make it happen. Here at Gigi's Gluten Free Lab, we provide you with product reviews, restaurant reviews, and recipes, and they're all gluten free, guys. And I want to try products and recipes before you buy them, equipment, all of that, so that you can be rest assured giving an honest review on products, recipes, and equipment. So now, what I generally do is from the gate. I will add my salt because I never want my salt to sit on top of my food. I want it to be cooked. I don't want salt to be on top of my food. So when we come back, we will have parboiled these for about seven minutes. Seven minutes. And then we're going to chop our onion and we're going to start to grill our scalloped potatoes. I invite you to cook with me. Eat with me, Gigi's gluten free because you are welcome to the lab. Welcome to the lab. Okay, guys. So you just want to add your your lid and turn them turn on your potatoes. Yep, turn them on and let them parboil for about seven minutes. That's it. Well, guys, you know I am super impatient, so yes, I am checking on them, but you see them, they're cooking pretty good. I'm going to give them a couple more minutes, just a couple more minutes, and then we're going to bring them out, bring them out. We're going to strain them, and then we are going to transfer them to a skillet, and we're going to cook with me, Gigi's gluten-free Welcome to the lab. Welcome to the lab. Welcome to the lab. Okay, guys. So we are about to get it started. So we're going to add our vegetable oil. You can use whatever type of oil you're accustomed to using. Um, There's no wrong or right way to do this. I add a little black pepper. Then comes the onions. That's right. You got our onions and our black pepper. And remember, we have already added the salt. When you have already added your salt, you do not have to worry. You don't have to worry about that sodium sitting on top of your food. So now we're going to add some of the potatoes. And you see, they just ready. They are ready to do their thing. You want to spread them out. If you have too many, you might have to do a second round. Do not crowd your pan. But guys, this is gluten-free for beginners, guys. This is for someone that's trying to figure out how to do it right from the beginning. Without the additive, without the substitution. That's naturally gluten-free food. Natural. You see that? You see how easy that is? That's super easy. It takes little or no time. You can add some extras in there if you like, like a little bit of garlic powder, uh, fresh parsley, uh, maybe mm, some oregano. It just depends. When we come back, I'll show you a few of the extra spices that I use. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to add some garlic powder, guys. I love the flavor of garlic. And along with onions, it's just a perfect combination. So, I got some garlic. Or you can also use minced garlic if you like. If you like minced garlic, that's a perfect thing to use. And then I also like to put a little bit of ground paprika. Just a little bit. And that's just a different way to do it. Sometimes you get 
tired of eating the same old stuff and you just want to add some kick to it, that's when you go with some of your non-traditional spices or something that you don't use all the time. But you just want a different flavor. This is the easiest way to do it. But um, this is a recipe that's been around for a long time. It's nobody's recipe in particular. It's just something that I love. Um, but my dad has made it for me on several occasions. And I always make scalloped potatoes, but I never use the Yukon Gold. So, yep. Just something. And then if you feel like you need a little bit more vegetable oil, if your onions are like cooking too fast or something, you can always add a little bit more or you can add a little bit of water so that you don't have to have so much oil. It's your preference, but you definitely want them to be done. You don't want them to be hard. So I'm going to add a little bit more oil, but just like I said, this is gluten-free for beginners guys this is the foolproof way of knowing that your food is 100 percent gluten-free when you buy fresh produce it has no gluten containing ingredients that's right guys fresh produce is the safest way i know when i went gluten-free i went 45 days of fruit and vegetables and nuts only so like i said this is gluten-free for beginners you may be uh, into gluten this gluten-free lifestyle for quite some time and you may have a whole lot of recipes or something that you have uh questions about if you have questions drop me a comment i will be glad to be helpful if I'm knowledgeable, if not, I will do the research. Um, so, yeah, this is it, guys. It's nothing special about this. It's going to be eaten with a salad. And, um, hey, that is it. I invite you to come by and cook with me, eat with me. Gigi's gluten-free. Because here in the lab, we provide you with product reviews, restaurant reviews, recipes uh equipment reviews that's right we have equipment as a matter of fact we have something new that we started using today um i'll let you see it um this knife right here is by twit trusted butcher and it's a set and it comes with five knives and a food thermometer okay so we're giving it a try and so far, so good. I love the blade. I love the cut. It's precise. It's nice. And hmm, we're going to get to it. We're going to use them some more. And we will see just how good they are. But for right now, I'm going to give them a good rating because guess what? I cut those potatoes like butter. Like I was cutting butter. So, yeah. So, these are the scalloped potatoes, guys. And they are ready to roll. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Cook with me. Gigi's gluten-free. Welcome to the lab. Welcome to the lab. You see how easy that was? Like I said, this is gluten-free for beginners. That's right. Someone that's newly uh, diagnosed, someone that's not sure about what you need to do to start your gluten-free diet, I suggest fresh produce, fresh vegetables, and fresh protein. But I started off with vegetables and fruit because I needed to heal my gut and I needed to do it right away. So welcome to the channel. If you haven't already given this video a thumbs up, please do so. And if you haven't hit that red button and turned it great, I invite you to cook with me, grill with me, Gigi's gluten-free.